Hello, I'm Dr. Deepti and we are looking at different concepts of maths under the heading D creations mathematics. We have been looking at linear algebra and now we want to look at the concept of complex valued matrices. In order to do that, we need to know a fundamental concept from complex analysis and the concept is complex conjugate. If you recall, the genesis of complex numbers was from a simple equation such as z square is equal to minus 1. You know that you cannot solve it using just real numbers. So you had to have complex numbers which are written in this form z is equal to a plus bi or sometimes also written as z is equal to a plus ib where what is i is square root of minus 1. Now if this is the given z, what will be its conjugate? Well, for a complex conjugate, the real part is same as the original complex number. That means a will remain as it is. And the imaginary part is opposite in sign but same magnitude. That means plus bi will go to minus bi. So, this is how a complex conjugate is denoted, z bar. Sometimes it's also denoted as z asterisk. So for a complex number, z is equal to a plus bi. Its conjugate is a minus bi. If you take some numbers, for example, if you take complex number 4 plus 5i, its conjugate will be 4 minus 5i. Now, there are two simple consequences. If z is pure real number, that means suppose if z is just 4, what will be its complex conjugate? It is going to be the number itself. That means it is going to be 4 itself. But if z is a pure imaginary number such as 5i, its complex conjugate is going to be negative of that. For example, if z is 5i, z bar will be minus 5i. How do you interpret this geometrically? Try to imagine an argon plane where you have real axis is basically the x-axis and imaginary axis is the y-axis. Try to imagine or if you have a pen and paper quickly plot 4 plus 5i, which quadrant will it lie in? Correct, first quadrant because both of these are positive. Now where will you plot 4 minus 5i? You can see that x-coordinate is same but y-coordinate is negative. That means it will be in the fourth quadrant. And what is it? It is just like a mirror image of the complex number about the horizontal real axis. So this is the geometric interpretation being mirror image of the complex number. So when you have given a complex number, if you want to imagine its complex conjugate, simply imagine its mirror image. Now there are some very simple properties which are straightforward. It says conjugate of a conjugate is the number itself. So if we go back to the example 4 plus 5i, the conjugate was 4 minus 5i. If you take its conjugate again, it will be 4 plus 5i back. Also, if you write, try to write it in polar form, z if you write it as r e raised to i theta, then what will be z bar? It will be r e raised to minus i theta. Now when you take product of a complex number and its conjugate, what will you get? So if it's a plus ib and if you are multiplying it by a minus ib, what are you going to get? a square plus b square. And this essentially is a real number, mod z square. Where what is mod z? Mod z is the modulus under root of a square plus b square. So if you take it square, you get the term a square plus b square. You can visualize it more clearly in polar form. If r e raised to i theta is the basic complex number, if you multiply it by its complex conjugate, which is r e raised to minus i theta, these two terms will cancel out. You will get r square, which is basically mod z square because you know that r is the modulus. So this is little bit about complex conjugate. Some of you may already know it. Some of you might need some revision. Hence, this was 
revised so as to say and uh, we need it now when we want to go to complex valued matrices we want to have a look at transpose conjugate and then talk about matrices like hermitian unitary etc so those will be upcoming episodes till then bye